Adelaide is the capital city of South Australia and is Australia's fourth largest city with a population of over a million people. Today was predicted to be a very nice day, November 7, 2009. It was 8 in the morning when the cruise ship approached to dock in the outer harbor. The welcoming band showed that this was going to be a memorable visit. We were all excited to again set foot on land after two days at sea. As usual, the captain of the ship wanted to make sure that everything was done right. To go to the city center, a complimentary shower service was provided by the Randall Shopping Mall. But it was a very slow start and was taking so long. For those who didn't have the patience, a short walk from the pier is a train station that offered a service between the harbor and the city center for $8. My guided tour was scheduled in the afternoon, so I spent the morning taking pictures of the harbor and the surroundings. After lunch, I boarded a bus that took us on a narrated tour about the town of Adelaide and later a visit to Glenel, which is famed for its beaches. We have a few stops where you can uh, take photos and also we walk through a mall in the city where you have about 45 minutes. Adelaide became known as the city of churches with over a hundred of them in the vicinity. It is also a city with classic Victorian and Edwardian architecture. In the middle. And now this, this building here, as you say, Adelaide Port Visitor Information Center, uh, it was, in the beginning, it was actually uh, used as uh, a court, police station, uh, all sorts of things. Um, Our first stop was the Colonel Light's lookout atop the Montefiore Hill. Colonel Light was a British military officer and first surveyor general of the colony of South Australia who chose Adelaide as the colony's capital and also designed the layout of its streets. This statue overlooking the city was erected in honor of him. Uh, that's all North Adelaide. These houses are very expensive too. For two and a half to three million. We continued our journey to North Terrace in the heart of the city. A route passes by the government house. That's Parliament House here, built, uh, started in the 18, 1889 and was only finished in 1939. The university. That's all part of the university on the left. Botanic Gardens. Also King uh, Prince Henry Garden, here on the left. And we had two and other historical buildings. Exchange fruit, fruit and vegetable, and it's quite lovely. They made a lovely area behind it, but all the old buildings are still kept intact. And before we took our time to explore and stroll through the Randall Shopping Mall, we received our final instruction for a meeting place. Chocolate, you know where? Uh, uh, that's where the bus will stop in King Running Street, and we we go then to Glenelg. So three o'clock we meet there. Our guide gave us about an hour to go on our own. Randall Mall is the shopping heart of the city of Adelaide. It is a shopper's paradise with over 600 retail stores, including major department stores, boutiques, arcades, cinemas, and specialty stores. It's Saturday, and it looks like a very busy day, with all the tourists and the local people hanging around. The shiny balls get a lot of attention for picture taking. And what's a perfect location for this flute performer? A short distance away was the competition, who was working his tricks and attracted more attention. Now ladies and gentlemen, this is the last 
five minutes of my show and I really have to control what's going on. At the moment, wheelchairs cannot... People, young and old, got curious while Houdini did a lot more of talking. We were all getting impatient but still wanted to see the end of it. I wish I could spend more time here, but time goes fast. And there was only a few minutes left when I decided to look for a meeting place. The narrated tour continued as we headed for Ganel. It was only a short drive, and when we arrived, we were asked to be back on the bus in half an hour. Our guide walked us to the beach and left us on our own. Glenelg is the city's most popular destination. It was an interesting place with lots of activities going on. A camel ride for the young ones, water slides, a Glenelg version of London Eye, picture taking, and enjoying the sun in the beach by mostly teenagers. It's simply beautiful. It's a place to be. Back on the bus, it was time to go back to the ship. It's a four-hour tour well spent to see Adelaide and the best of it. And then we continue on a southeasterly course following the coastline round to Melbourne where we will be arriving on Monday. That's a lovely evening. If you're not doing anything else, do come out, enjoy, lovely side away from Adelaide.